can you share with us how you like to celebrate being a woman? If I am in a room where somebody may be sexist or something like that, is making sure that I always like call it out and set that example for um, men and women that are coming up after, you know, like uh, that are younger than I am. So I've got two little boys and it's really important to me for them to see that women can do it all and to from day one make sure that I'm teaching them all the important values of how to treat um, people of other genders as much as possible. Every day I'm just trying to do all of those things and if I can achieve them then I know that um, I've done my part of the day. Sharon, what does holistic success mean to you? It to mean to me, you know, getting the dream job and getting to the level that I wanted to be with my dream job. And I think as I've gotten older, it became way more important to me to have a really good work-life balance. Like even before, you know, and that's not just having kids and stuff like that. It's before having kids as well as making sure that yes, work is important and I really enjoy it and I'm passionate, but also making sure that I'm doing things that are good for me, good for my brain. And to get through a day where I have feel happy at the end of the day, that to me is success. No longer is it, how long can I get a contract for? How much money do I earn? That stuff isn't as important to me anymore. It's important, but it's not the most important. So Sharon, this year's International Women's Day theme is gender equality for a sustainable tomorrow. What does this look like in your world to create impact? Well, for me, I think as I have worked in this, for me, I worked in the same industry for 17 years and it was like quite a male dominated industry. So one thing that I have tried really hard to do is to make myself as available as possible to not just younger women but younger men as well because I think it is really important that we are teaching our younger men how to also be feminist and how also to you know be more inclusive to women within the workplace and stuff like that so I think educating them is just as important. The more work that I put into that now is going to be more valuable for the women that come after me to continue it on and them to not have that feeling in a room when they could be the only woman in the room.